I've been to a few estate sales. Um, I went to a couple last weekend and I just got home from one really good one today that was a lot of fun. So I'll tell you about that one while it's fresh on my mind. This estate sale was over off of um, Peachtree Battle area. If you're familiar with the Atlanta area at all, really a nice house. It went way back into the woods and the house was just beautiful. It was um, huge <laughs> to begin with. If you know that area, you would expect that. Um, and I did a little research and it actually belonged to a doctor. He was a dermatologist in Atlanta, uh, Dr. Sturm, S-T-U-R-M or something. Um, very well known, very well respected dermatologist in Atlanta area. Um, and he just had a very eclectic home. The home just kind of meandered around, which is one of my favorite types of homes to be in. Um, it was just beautiful. So let me show you a few things I got. The first thing I found um, really wasn't anything grand, but it matches my current dishes at my house, the Port Marion dishes. And this is a melamine tray, which you all probably know I love. So um, that I got for just a couple of bucks. Um, today was the second day of the sale, so 25% off, which is always a bonus. Um, it's good to go on the first day because you get a lot of the fresh treasures, but the second day there's usually a markdown and, and that's always exciting. Um, I also found these wooden trays. I was gonna just buy the one. They were stacked up together. Um, just decided not to separate the two, but they are made. Um, they came from India, hand carved wood, Shesham wood. It says that they're carved out of Shesham wood. And it goes on to talk about how Noah used Shusham wood to build the ark. Kind of cool, if it's true. Either way, they're beautiful. They're beautiful trays. Be really nice on a coffee table or um, dining room table or whatnot. Um, also at that sale today, I got this beautiful, this guy had artwork everywhere. He had some that looked like original paintings, um, but he also had lots of replicas, which is what I got. I got a Vincent Van Gogh. I saw it across the room. And it's just, that's just my personality. I really love artwork like this. Um, Post-Impressionism. This is probably from um, 1800s with the original. And I believe the original was or is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, and this is a portrait of Augustine Rulin is her name. And I did just a little quick research. She was the wife of one of Van Gogh's friends who happened to be the postmaster. Um, and he did a portrait of her, and I think it's called The Portrait of a Lady Rocking a Cradle. I don't see a cradle in there, but um, anyway, just thought it was beautiful. So, um, I think I paid maybe $15 for this. They, uh, it was 25% off, so anyway, great find. It'll look beautiful on the wall. So, that's what I got at that sale today. There's also another painting that really, really wanted... Um, but it was really expensive and they will be 50% off tomorrow. So I don't know, I may find myself back there tomorrow to pick that one up. Um, oh, and I also bought, um, I have a friend at church and anytime I get hot in church or whatever, she just, she always has a beautiful little fan in her purse and I think about her. I don't know that I will ever use this, but I just thought this was beautiful. Um, it's wood, had a beautiful little tassel on it and it is a carved wood fan, which I thought was so pretty. Um, just a couple of dollars. Couldn't believe it that it was not broken, so I grabbed that up. So that was today's finds, and last weekend, I went to a sale over off of Glen Ridge, um, just off of 285 on the Glen Ridge exit. And this house was kind of in a little townhouse. It was very well packed in there. It was very tight parking. And I almost didn't go in because I was a little intimidated about the parking. They kept saying they would tow you if you were illegally parked. And um, But I'll show you a few things I got. Um, this one, nothing, it, unless you appreciate aprons, <laughs> this one I think is all Italian. But I bought this apron, not for my kitchen, but I bought it to wear when I go to the garden. I'm always sticking my scissors and my spade and seed packets and whatnot all in my pockets and getting dirt in my pockets. And I thought this was just the perfect apron to wear to the garden because it's canvas, it's super heavy duty. And it won't matter if it gets wet or if it gets dirty. So I can easily wash it. Um, so I found that and in just a second, I'll take you in the other room and show you what else I found. This was at a lady's house. She appeared to be Asian, 
because everything was Asian influence, which is beautiful. It's just one of the most beautiful styles. Um, and I'll take you in the other room in a minute and show you what else I got that she had hand painted. So I feel like my theme here lately is artwork. It just keeps showing up. Um, this is another piece of art that I collected from, um, I believe the estate sale company was called New Leaf. And I saw this online and I thought, oh, I'll take a look at that, but I bet it'll be gone because I went on their last day of their sale, got this one 50% off. Um, and it's a replica, you've probably seen it. Uh, it's titled uh, Blue Man with Guitar or something. Anyway, it's a replica of a Picasso painting, um, but it's beautiful. I've already got him a little spot in the back bedroom where it's going to hang. So that was a real find. Um, I think she had it marked 60 and I might've paid 25. Anyway, it was a deal and I thought it was so pretty and so unusual. So give me just a second. I'm gonna walk you in the other room and let me show you the hand painted piece that I got from the Glen Ridge. Okay, so I brought you in here. The lighting is terrible. Um, this is one of the rooms in our house that we've really done nothing to besides move furniture into. But I found this fire screen um, and this is from the estate sale where I believe the lady was Asian. She had so many beautiful things, but she had hand painted this fire screen. I mean, it went, I, I asked the lady who was running the estate sale and she said she felt certain that she did hand paint it. It is signed with the lady's name. And there were several other pieces in the house that she had painted that had the ve had very similar style. So it was kind of a telltale sign that I, I felt like she had hand painted it. But look how cool. I saw this one online too and really, I didn't think I would get it, but there it sat. Um, so she painted each of the seasons and it says to remember a day in spring, a day in summer, a day in autumn, and a day in winter. And all of the things that she painted are, well, most of them are native plants from Georgia, as well as native birds and insects, pollinators that you find in Georgia. Um, and if you followed me at all, you know that that just kind of lit my fire. So anyway, that was the screen that I got. It, I went on the full price day to the sale, but I was the only one checking out at the time. So I struck up conversation with the lady running the sale and asked her, hey, are you firm on this? And um, would you consider coming down at all? And she did. She was asking, oh, I think she was asking 50 and I got it for 40, something like that. But anyway, I, she came down the extra 20 or 25% that she would have come down the next day. So I got it and I brought it home and it just looks beautiful. Um, and it will look really pretty once I get this room refinished and repainted. So. Those are some of my finds lately. And I'll keep you updated if I go back, maybe go back tomorrow and get that other painting, um, or if I go to another sale next weekend.